welcome to Grasshopper Red and Kwame. Tolga Nights is a series of events at three distinctive sites along the River Tolga in Dublin and Meath, where we are tonight. So over the past number of months we've been foraging around the River Tolga, taking videos of animals and wildlife, the flora and the fauna, uh, talking to expert historians around the area, talking to wildlife experts too, uh, running singing workshops and sort of exploring the river with our voice. And uh, we've gathered all this information and we've produced three distinctive events. Uh, this is the first one tonight. So let's make a start with round one. Round one is called Stream of Consciousness. Question one. What well-known author once referred to the River Tolka as one of Dublin's infernal streams? Was it A, W.B. Yeats, B, Samuel Beckett, or C, Oscar Wilde? Question two. For this question, each group will send one nominated member outside to find the answer. And here's the question. Facing the river with your back to the pub, in which direction does the river flow? Thanks again to everyone who donated a lovely prize. So many brilliant prizes and we really appreciate it. And we hope that everyone's won something from someone else and we've all exchanged some knowledge and some lovely treats tonight. So without further ado, we'll be announced the, the results. And in first place, winning, and let me announce this right, a hot stone steak dinner for two at the Grasshopper Inn for me. Thank you so much to the Grasshopper Inn for having us tonight. Yes, there's a fish moving down there on your left. How far Close down? Close to this bank. I say about 30 yards down. Christy, I think I'll chance just below the bridge. Aye, ah, whatever you want. Yeah, where yeah, I missed those fish. Because it's so bright, you can see me a mile away.
Did you see the lies, Lur? Yeah, we we'd one here, yeah. I should have showed it over to you. <laughs> There's a bat there just after flying. Just fly just flew by there, so when I just turn this. There we go. There, yeah. And that there, yeah, that was a that was a definitely a common pipistrelle there. I think there's possibly two bats, uh, two bats here at the moment. Two pipistrels. Hello. Do you ever think as much as you should about things here in Ireland? This is your country, our country. It used to quite regularly get a dose of runoff agricultural uh, fertilizers you know and that's just deoxygenate the water with it it, it causes uh, algae to, to thrive and they use up the oxygen and that's fish flow to the surface dead but there's also been poison from some of the industrial estates that was either through carelessness or by accident or possibly deliberate attempt to slip something away that might be more expensive to dispose of uh, properly to assume the position of temporary flood commissioner in order to address a dramatic pattern of recurring floods that had come to dominate the Tolka River catchment within the last fortnight. Moments after my emergency appointment to this obviously fabricated position, I found myself in a flight to Dublin. I was to complete four new plans of the Tolka catchment addressing the issues caused by the flood within the next 24 hours. Thinking about the river that night, I could not sleep. I lay in bed with the lights turned off. Firstly, it's a great pleasure on behalf of the Office of Public Works to welcome you all here to the National Planning Gardens. We are always very eager to engage with anything artistic or educational and so tonight is a, a wonderful way of showcasing the Tolka River. The other five artists and I who have been working on Tolka nights have, we've all discovered different things along the way working with the river. It's such a, you know, there's so many different directions where you might take a project like this and it's, for me it's actually, I should say thank you to all of them because it's actually been really a delightful thing to work together and to go apart and do things differently and come back together. I mean, we, we rarely get a chance to do something like this, so it's, it's really been great to work with you guys. Um, but also on that note, um, when we came to this idea of having a conference, it would seem like a very nice idea to open this up to lots of different people. People who might intersect with the river in different ways. And not just this river, but other rivers and other bodies of water, because I think this is a very different type of project. Um, what I do is I, I manage biodiversity in Dublin City, and the talk is a really biodiverse place. For Dublin, so my talk is really on how we've been trying over the last couple of decades to recover and restore parts of the river and uh, what's actually there if you look closely. Um, recent projects have focused on marine based environments and their associated social ecological conditions. That includes uh, an ongoing examination of narratives related to the sea and energy industries and intentions that may arise from interactions between nature, technology, and economy relationships. So that's a quick introduction. And there's the, um, there's the River Elba on the left-hand side, and on the right are these hills. And I looked out of the window, and um, I was like, oh, I, I wonder how it looks down there in, in underneath the river's surface. 
and um, I, I became curious, so I decided to learn how to scuba dive. Mm -hmm. And um, I thought, you know, rivers are really something else um, in in the European context. You know, they 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 really to me they they really symbolize this kind of uh, what I mentioned before, this kind of density of civilization. Last night, I was pulled back to Ireland from my post in Taiwan to assume the position of temporary flood commissioner in order to address a pattern of dramatic recurring floods that had come to dominate the Tolka River catchment within the last quarter. Where do the fish lie, Christine? The back of this pool? Yeah, and over there on your right hand side there, just on the bend. Yeah, hard to get in there with those trees. Yeah, they're drifting if you can. How about down here? Thank <laughs> you. 